all our developers uh, good evening uh, one and all my name is Somil Shah in this video of tutorial I'm going to be explaining you how to do uh, basically how to pass multiple arguments uh, in an API call how to validate uh, these arguments and um, stuff like that so let me quickly show you an example I have my postman right here so here you can see it's a simple get request and if I do not specify any one of the arguments it's going to give me an error because I did not supply that argument so this is like a validation how can you do that um, in flask api i'm going to be teaching you that as well i'm going to also be writing a very good code an object oriented code uh, we will we will basically convert uh, these parameters into a private variable let me just show you a, a small glimpse of it what we are going to code so here you can see it's a simple um, get request uh, so you can see i'm checking the length of all of the characters but before that i'm also converting all of these into a private variable so that um, i can validate them and you know kind of a better security approach for my uh, code so we will we will learn to code this uh, we are going to use the parse arc parser method we will be uh, validating uh, validating them and stuff like that so uh, stay connected with me and hope you will have fun learning this tutorial so let's get started with the tutorial um, so first of all very beginning what we need to do is we need to uh, okay did i run my um, I think did I run my uh, recording? Yeah, <laughs> all right. Sometimes I forget that it happened with me once. You know, I was recording and I came to know oh, it's not recording. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is basically uh, we should always try with the try block. Uh, so wanna say try and import uh, the libraries. So I'm gonna import a couple of libraries. That is from Flask. From Flask import. I'm gonna say flask um, and of course the request then i'm gonna say from flask restful so from flask oops from flask underscore rest 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 underscore restful i'm gonna import uh, resource i need also api api after that what i'm gonna do is from flask restful so from flask restful uh, import arc pass sorry request parse not arc parse ah my bad so request parse after that what i will do is from flask underscore limiter uh, dot utils because we want to limit our api calls so i'm going to say import get underscore remote address because we need the ip address of the person right so from flask uh, underscore limiter import uh, limiter um, if any of the modules are missing we'll say except 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 exceptions as e print some modules are missing spelling mistake <laughs> all right so I'm gonna format that. I need to format that bad boy. So again, spelling mistake. <laughs> I should probably focus more on spellings now <laughs> rather than coding. All right. So uh, we we will say app equals to Flask. Supply the app inside. Want to define the API. So want to pass app to it. All right. Then we're gonna define the limiter, which is limiter wanna supply the app argument wanna supply uh the key function which will be get remote uh address then we will say limiter dot init app oops init app yep that's correct app all right now we are gonna supply some arguments to it so we're gonna say parse p a r s e r parse equals to uh we're gonna say request parser request parse dot ah, damn. so wanna say request parse parser we're creating an object now we can add arguments so uh, we want so we'll say parser dot add and i'm gonna say add argument so this will has to accept zip code 
and make sure to specify the type so the type has to be string right i'm i'm, I'm choosing a string now required means uh, you have to supply this argument if you don't it will give you an exception so i this is an important parameter required true um i'm going to say if that is not found i'm going to say help equals to please please enter the zip code all right so when i add my one more arguments just for the demo add arguments i'm going to add city types gonna be string then i'm gonna say help of course before that i'm gonna say required true wanna supply the help which means if i don't something goes wrong this would be the message that would be displayed please enter enter city all right looks good guys um some space now let's define our api call so it's going to inherit from resource make some space now comes the part so i'm going to do some custom validation i'm going to convert into a private variable so remember um, you have to it's like what we call in java i forgot this you know encapsulation is the word so it's kind of en encapsulate your you know like kind of project so i'm going to say self dot two underscore which stands for a private variable zip code so zip underscore code is a variable name right so i'm going to say uh, parser dot parse args i'm going to that's a method i'm going to get i want to get the zip code because that's what i supplied it over here remember that and if that is not found return none Se self dot double underscore city which stands for a private variable parser remember parser dot parse args that's a method i want to call dot get method i want to Wanna call the city? If that is not found, return none. All right, that's done. Now we can define our get request. All right, so I'm gonna do some custom validation here. So if length self self dot double underscore city is should be should be greater than two. and remember to include this in new into just a better way to code uh, so that's done self what the hell self dot double underscore city not city of course want to say zip zip code ah oh, my bad i should have said length right this right um what's happening guys all right so hopefully if the length is greater than 2 i'm going to make sure that i've validated that first of all so if that is done i can print the value but not needed right now so just going to return a response return uh i would say a dictionary so i'm going to say response 200 and um the data i'm going to send the data as parser dot parse args going to call that method right all right so that's done uh if this condition is oh i forgot the colon otherwise i would have got a nice error and i would i would have been like 
Hey, what's wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Else return I'm gonna say 400 yeah that's pretty much it what else api dot add resource uh let's define the my api now define the route so slash weather all right now run the app if underscore name underscore equals to main which basically means the file name is equal to the main file in that case app dot run d debug true um, that's it lovely so the name of the file is test.py why didn't we test all right so we have an error let's see syntax error line 38 all right let's see what what's the syntax error uh so well it looks correct to me <laughs> All right, let's see. So let me uh, see if I did some silly syntax issues. Oh, did I save that? No, I think that was the mistake. Uh, again, so we have at uh, name error, name app is not defined. All right, so I got it. What is the mistake? Line 12. Uh, oh yeah, I, forgot. I did not define the app. You know, I, I never defined the app. So I have to say, flask and um, all right should be fine you learn from your mistakes so always you know don't uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes you always learn from your mistakes so let me just save that clear all right so we have that running up now i'm gonna go to the postman uh here you can see uh, i'm gonna remove that and let's supply arguments from params city um of course i'm in bridgeport so <laughs> all right so city is that zip zero four all right so let's test it out and congratulations guys your api is working and validated so if i remove one of them let's see what happens so here you can see zip code please enter zip code so if you don't enter city enter city so this is a very good way to write apis and how you can you know uh, give arguments so that's it for this video i uh, hope you have found it useful and um, if you have any questions and concerns please let your questions in the comment section below. I shall try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, uh, the next video, as soon as I get time, uh, Mr. Reddy uh, requested me to make a video on um, Angular as front-end and back-end as Python. So I'm working on it. Uh, please give me some time. I'm really busy with my schedule right now. I have my, I have five subjects to study. I'm working in a, in a company and um, it's crazy right now. So give me some time and I'll surely definitely come back with your video. Uh, so f that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. And if so, do give a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.